I'm really excited to talk to you about the evolution of the Hyperbus interface with the second product, Hyper RAM. So this is the second product category that Sebastian is introducing um, for after Hyper Flash. So let me tell you a little bit more about it. First, the problem statement. What you see on the left-hand side is a block diagram of a typical interface um, between a host system on chip and uh, memory solution. So what you see up here is a NOR. At the bottom is the DRAM. And in order to connect these two devices to the host, you will require quite a few uh, uh, number of pins, uh, more so in the DRAM. You see here on the left-hand side is a dual-quad SPI device indicated by a green uh, ball. On the right-hand side is the DRAM, the red balls. You can see here that there's approximately 50 pins or so just to support a RAM device. And in order to do this for the system designer, you have to route all these signals, which means that you're going to have many more signal layers, perhaps six or more, to just support these two memory elements in the system. So what we've set out to do is try to fix this thing, hence the hyperram. The result of HyperRAM is that we now can have a flash device and a RAM device residing on the same Hyper bus, which means that you could reduce all these pins, or the, the host manufacturer can reduce all these pins, um, and just add a chip select to the Hyper bus for the Hyper RAM, total of 13 pins, and now you have a Hyper Flash and a Hyper RAM in a very small pin footprint. What this means to you is that you can now reduce the layers, uh, signal layers on the PC board because you only need to route 13 pins, which means that human, uh, tremendous cost savings for you. And uh, so, overall, with the Hyper RAM introduction, uh, Hyper Flash, Hyper RAM on Hyper Bus with uh, cost savings. And that's really the valid proposition of, of uh, HyperRAM. So, the HyperBus interface, you've probably seen this before, but we, had, uh, we made a little bit of a tweak to accommodate the RAM element, um, the RAM functionality of HyperRAM. Uh, it's the read-write data strobe. Originally this was a read data strobe. Now we also added the write functionality into that signal. We're not increasing pin count, we're just using the same signal, but now adding more features to the Hyperbus family of products. So again, HyperRAM. It's a very exciting solution for us. It's a new category for us using the Hyperbus uh, memory interface. So uh, stay tuned for more information uh, for Spasson with regard to the HyperRAM product family. Thank you.